www.ghanaspeakingpodcast.com welcome to one more show so my apologies the power was cut and then and i have no idea where to look. this is the phone and when the power is restored uh, the internet is still not restored so i have no idea how this is working but i would love to continue with the discussions so today i had prepared and by the way if you wanted to see what i had prepared on the cool beans cafe live if you go to that channel you'll be able to see the preparation i did for this lecture <laughs> which because of internet not being here uh, cannot i cannot show you the screen so let me just talk there are there is a study that has it's actually a case report of two individuals they the authors say that this is the first case report where they have shown the evidence of SARS-CoV-2 hanging in the patient's body for even up to 426 days 426 days in a healthy patient healthy meaning not immunocompromised they were not healthy because they were long covid as well so that part was present but otherwise they were generally healthy so let me and then they also have another patient who had sars cov 2 in their cells and in their tissues for 175 days but this patient the second one was immuno compromised or not compromised they were immuno suppressed she she was a she is a woman with breast cancer so she's taking therapies that keep the immune system in check so let's talk about that um as much as we can and i am i'm able to see some comments so i see maureen saying are you in california yes so i'm in california cupertino uh, so let's very quickly look at these two reports number 1 the first patient age i believe 40 years woman female and i have some notes here as well so i can turn the computer on i just cannot go live from the normal regular internet so 40 years of age she became positive with sars cov 2 and had the issues with headache and bronchospasm and cough and myalgias and fatigue and she presented with those symptoms she was diagnosed with sars cov 2 she she became negative i believe in about couple of months that actually should be the first sign that the patient became negative after a long time and she was otherwise healthy about 426 days later she presented with abdominal pain nausea um nausea loss of appetite and abdominal discomfort pain which can become is it appendicitis or is there something else in the git that is causing this problem so they immediately did a pcr test for for covid it was negative then they did an emergency laparotomy they opened up her abdomen to see if there is anything going on and as they opened up the abdomen i think this is a normal procedure surgeons know better that if they do open the abdomen then they would remove the appendix so they rem- <coughs> excuse me so they removed the appendix at the same time they also took a biopsy of the skin of her lower limb or leg and guess what they found after 426 days of the previous infection sars cov 2 infection and becoming pcr negative although she had the long haul symptoms and that were git symptoms she had the viral nuclear capsid proteins or n proteins present in the lymphoid tissue of the appendix she had the viral rna present 426 days later rna present in the interstitium that means between the among the cells 
and inside the lymphoid cells, meaning macrophages and monocytes. So that proved to the researchers that number one, there was viral proteins present in the cells, outside the cell, in the GIT, 426 later, days later, there was SARS-CoV-2 proteins and active RNA, I'm saying active, the RNA, present inside the immune cells. The other thing that they noticed, I think I hope this is making an impact, and this is the very first study clearly demonstrating, although in two cases, but still clearly demonstrating this impact. The other part was that the skin biopsy that they did of the same female. This is actually very important. It, it was kind of revealing for me. They did the skin biopsy and they saw that perivascular dermatitis was present. So I can only do hand waves now because I can't show the diagrams. So imagine if under the skin, there is a blood vessel. Let's say this is the blood vessel. So what happens is the cells come out of the blood vessel. So sorry, I'm saying cells. Immune cells do come out of the blood vessels, but normally nutrients come out and oxygen come out and carbon dioxide go back and waste products go back. However, if there is inflammation here of the blood vessel, then the permeability changes. The blood vessel becomes leaky and the cells would come out. So in the skin, 426 days later, around the blood vessels of the skin, they found dermatitis, inflammation of the skin. They found the macrophages of the skin infected by the virus. So RNA was in the macrophage and surrounding the macrophages. So now the question became for them to figure out where is the virus actually hiding or staying? So they still have a conjecture, not a determined place. They think it is the gastrointestinal tract or GIT of the patient that acts as a reservoir where the virus just hangs out there for even 426 days. Why is this study interesting? Although two people's case report, they say that it is a small n equals two, but this is the very first time they're proving with evidence that virus is present so many days later. And in between, the person had become PCR negative. And even at the time of the next presentation, when they took the tissue samples, even at that time, the person was PCR negative. So it was not a new active infection, but the tissue still was harboring the virus. So that is one. The second thing that was interesting, the second case, the second case is of a woman, I think 45 years of age, and she has ductal carcinoma of the breast in C2. And she was actually being managed for that as well. So she also became positive in 2020. And then she became, in two months, she became negative. Again, this time of becoming negative in two months tells you that there is a struggle on the immune system to handle the infection. Then she became negative, and this is the case for both. Both of the patients continue to have the symptoms. They were negative, but they had the symptoms, especially the GIT symptoms. Now this patient, the second case, was long COVID when asked even 163 days later. Now remember this person, this individual, this woman was cancer patient as well. So her immune system was suppressed. So about 175 days later, she also presented with headache and GIT issues. And so what they, plus she needed partial breast resection and margin surgery. So she came in for that procedure. They did the PCR. PCR was negative. So they said, fine, let's go ahead with the procedure. They collected the blood, uh, the breast tissue that they resected. And what they found, this is 175 days later. What they found was that the virus, the viral proteins, nucleocapsid proteins, 
and the RNA was present surrounding the malignant part of the, the, the cancer, <coughs> excuse me, and in the interstitium, that is these spaces between the cells and in the macrophages. So now we're talking about the breast and within the breast tissue, the virus is sitting between the cells and in the lymphatic cells or the macrophages and the monocytes. And not only the, the NP proteins or N proteins are found, the RNA was found as well. So this idea that just the spike protein can be hanging out there in the monocytes by some of the researchers, I think we need to evolve that thought further in light of these studies. And this study, if I wish I had that on and, and I had the links for you, this study has further links to other studies that are also now providing evidence of possibility of the SARS-CoV-2. So both of them, in both of these cases, the authors think that it is something to do with the virus hanging out in the GIT. Both continue to have GIT symptoms even after becoming PCR negative and even when they came in for the surgeries or their procedures, they were PCR negative and they still had the virus present RNA and NP and protein in their cells. And as you can tell, I'm being very awkward because I'm not used to doing this without drawings and referencing. So I hope that this makes sense. The very first study, just a quick recap, very first study that is showing with evidence, and they have the evidence which I cannot show right now, with evidence that SARS-CoV-2 N protein is present in the tissues, in the cells, and the RNA is present in the tissues and in the cells, even up to 426 days after the first infection, which then became negative. And even after 426 days, when the PCR was negative, the SARS-CoV-2 still was present in the cells. So that is, that's a very interesting new study. Um, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching this uh, little <laughs> video on the phone with me. Uh, I hope it made sense. I will redo it once the uh, power comes back, but thank you very much for hanging in here with me. And I would see you uh, either later today if the power comes back, oh, sorry, the power is here, the internet comes back or tomorrow. And please like, subscribe and share. In the description, there were going to be links <laughs> for buying Dr. Bean's plan or supporting this work. But this description is going to be empty today. I will add to this description some links afterwards. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, leave them for me and I would uh, try if I can answer them or do a topic for them. Thank you and have a good day. I'm going to see how to hang up this. I have no idea how to. So let's see. Save, highlight, share, mute microphone, live. And now I think there's a cross button over here. So, okay, bye-bye. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes.